Hi, welcome to PKS classes. To continue with the nervous system, let us uh, differentiate between ANS and SNS. As we have already studied these two are the branches of uh, peripheral nervous system. So peripheral nervous system can be divided into autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system. So ANS when we say this is autonomic and this is somatic. Why they are called autonomic or somatic? Because this is involuntary whereas this is voluntary. So what do you mean by this involuntary and voluntary? Voluntary means under conscious control. For example, we want to contract our biceps, okay. So biceps are skeletal muscles, so skeletal muscle we can contract and this is under our will, we can contract and relax, okay. So for example, in this one if you see the figure, the biceps, this can be contracted as well as relaxed. Okay. So this this you can do you, you can do it under your will, under conscious control, so that is somatic. Whereas your uh, mm, this is not under your conscious control, suppose heart rate. So if you want to increase your heart rate you cannot do that. If you run, then automatically your heart rate will increase. If you um, sit down, then the increased heart rate will again come to normal. Similarly, your pupil size. If light falls on your pupil, on your eye, the pupil size will decrease. And in the darkness, the pupil size will increase. So this is not under your control, but this is uh, occurring on its own. That is why this is called autonomic and this is called somatic. Okay? Let us now uh, discuss the sensory neurons. The sensory neurons originate from chemoreceptors. Chemoreceptors. For example, the receptors which monitor the carbon dioxide level in the blood. Okay. There is a chemoreceptor. And mechanoreceptors or mechanoreceptors. Mechanoreceptors. That means so which detect degree of stretch of organs, for example, blood vessels, okay. degree of stretch is uh, detected by these receptors. So these are called interoceptors. Interoceptors. So the sensory neurons originate from interoceptors. Whereas in this case, these sensory neurons originate from special senses. Special senses like uh, vision, hearing, taste, smell, okay. Then proprioceptors, proprioceptors that is your uh, muscle and joint position, okay. And all the general somatic receptors general somatic receptors uh, uh, that is pain temperature etc okay and if we discuss the uh, motor neurons so in ans and sns so sensory neurons we have discussed the motor neurons Motor neurons means the efferent neurons from CNS to periphery. Okay. And motor neurons innervate, that means they go to cardiac muscle, that is heart, smooth muscle, that is, uh, for example, blood vessel. Okay. Then, glands, 
So cardiac muscle contraction, relaxation, smooth muscle contraction, relaxation, glands secretion or uh, no secretion, all these are conducted by ANS. Whereas motor neurons innervate in SNS2 skeletal muscles. The examples we have given skeletal muscle contraction and relaxation, that is an example of somatic nervous system. Okay? And these motor neurons, another feature is, suppose this is from CNS, one neuron goes and then it goes to the ganglia, and from this another neuron goes to the peripheral organ. So there are two neurons two motor neurons in series, two mo motor neurons in series or ANS, whereas because in uh, sensory neurons there are multiple number of neurons will be there, multiple numbers, not two okay, or uh, one, multiple numbers will be there so, so, so in case of sensory neurons, but motor neurons, only two neurons in series in case of ANS. Whereas a single somatic neuron from CNS to periphery. Periphery means here the skeletal muscle. Periphery, the skeletal muscle is only one neuron. This is a major difference between uh, ANS and SNS. Two motor neurons in series in case of ANS one motor neuron in case of SNS, okay. And here there can be release of acetylcholine or noradrenaline, okay, as the neurotransmitters at the nerve ending. But here at the nerve ending, is nerve ending? At the nerve ending only acetylcholine is released. So in autonomic nervous system this can release Acetylcholine or noradrenaline, accordingly it is cholinergic or adrenergic, but in SNS, somatic nervous system, there is only release of acetylcholine. Okay? So, this is the difference between ANS and SNS, and uh, in the next class, we will discuss ANS in detail.